Hello everyone, today we're looking at Fujimi's Nostalgic Racer Tuning Parts. Comes with some classic racing seats with the buckles and belts as well. You also get the classic uh, racing steering wheel and also two engines. A double overhead cam 2 liter S20 engine and you also get the 2.4 L24 engine as well. So let's see exactly what is in this very thin little box. Instructions. Link in the description if I can get one as always guys. Now, there are your seats. They're gorgeous little seats. Again, they don't really look right in normal cars. Uh, normal car, you know, classic cars, but give it a go, see what you find out. There's all your buckles as well, all plastic as well, so they're quite easy to work with. There's one of your classic steering wheels as well. Now, you also get this, which is a roof rack. A little bit strange, but you know it works. It's a roof rack, you can use it. It's all good. Now, the first engine is... Oh, what is this? This is, sorry, this is the S20 engine. This comes in the old classic Skyline GTRs, like the KP GC10. There's a couple of unboxing videos of those on my channel if you take a look. And here we have it. This is like some sort of chin spoiler or something, but this actually came out of a Skyline kit by Fujimi. You've got the head there, all various other little bits, even more number plate bits. Down pipes as well, you've got the fans, injectors, everything else, and there's the block and the gearbox. Now, this is quite a cool kit really, because it's quite cheap as well. And as you know, the majority of Fujimi kits don't come with engines. So now's your chance to cut the bonnets open, build a little bay, sort the awful chassis that Fujimi are known for, cut it all out and then start a fresh. You also got some chrome parts as well. This is for this engine, the L24. Now, very similar engines. You've got the manifold there, the fan, the carburetor as well, a little radiator, engine block, etc. And then you've got an exhaust as well, some more little bits. And the chrome parts that you get, you've got the engine head, and you've also got the backings for the 240Z as well. And there you go. So a lot of the stuff you won't actually use, but it's all good to have spares, of course. Now I'll just show you these decals on the camera. They're just some quite cool classic ones, actually. STP. TC, you've got the van, GT2 as well, and a couple of Pepsi ones. The Pepsi ones are quite cool. And you've also got ones for the um, seat belts as well. So yeah, all in all pretty good. Now, quality-wise, it's fantastic. There's not a lot of flash on the parts at all. The L24 engine um, predominantly came in the Datsun 240Z, and it also came in the Cedric's. Skyline C110 and the C210 as well, and the Nissan Laurel or Laurel or whatever, tomato, tomato, whatever, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it gives you a lot of scope to turn a very basic Fujimi kit or any kit really uh, that you wanted to put the engine in into, you know, full engine car, which is fantastic. Um, can't recommend this enough. Very, very cheap as well for what it is. So yeah, go out and get yourself some. Um, let me know if you've used this or what, what kits you've you know motorised with these engines. It'd be quite cool to do sort of a newer type car with an older engine. Now, I've got a little plan for that. Uh, more will be revealed very, very soon. As soon as the kit comes in the post, I'm going to do a double build of something. And if I can pull it off, they're going to both be very special, but we'll see anyway. Um, yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the up and coming videos. Take it easy. Bye-bye.